for joining me in today's video all about teacher burnout. Mm, well, not so much teacher burnout, but how to prevent teacher burnout. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. Today, I wanna to share with you some of my tried and true tips and strategies on how to prevent middle school math teacher burnout. This year has been wild and crazy between being a regular teacher, like on the regs, it's already hard. Then you throw in a pandemic, then you throw in virtual teaching and you throw in like, are we going back face to face? Are we not? Are we doing this hybrid teaching? It's completely bananas and it's exhausting. And Zoom teaching on Zoom, uh, like teaching online is a completely different beast than anything else that we've ever done as teachers. So I want to share with you some tips and strategies and just things to note for yourself in your life to prevent you from burnout, because we still have so many more months of the school year. And I want you to continue on this school year and any other school year feeling good, feeling energized and just really taking care of yourself. So first things first, let's talk email. I want you to decide how long of a work day you want to have. For me, I usually leave school like when we were in school, but I usually leave school slash turn off my computer around three o'clock. And once three o'clock hits and I'm off email, like I am off email and I want you to be off email too. If you have a parent who emails you after hours, it's okay for them to wait until the next day because here's what's going to happen if you respond right away to their email. You are training those parents that you are readily available any day, anytime, all the time. And we don't want that. It's okay for parents to wait 12 to 24 hours before getting a response from you. Like it's okay. Those parents are not working at their jobs 24 hours a day, and neither are you. You are going to be on the fast track to burnout if you are always on your email. Okay, number two, let's talk teacher boundaries. Have you given your cell phone number away to a parent where they might be able to text you or call you whenever they want? If you've done that, I would suggest you don't do that anymore. And in the future, use Google. Um, Google has a tool called Google Voice where you can get a different phone number that will transfer to your phone number. Does that make sense? So you'll get like a different phone number, but it'll ring on your phone. Um, Cause I understand sometimes like we have, we chaperone field trips, like when field trips were a thing, or like for some reason you just had to give that parent your phone number, but please don't ever feel pressure to do that. Um, you know, like you can just tell the parent it's not very professional and like you can always just call me. I'm, I'm readily available on my classroom phone or via email, but like we're not doing it with my cell phone. And outside of the parent boundaries, I want you to be OK with making boundaries with your colleagues. We live in a social media world. So if you have colleagues who are trying to friend you on social media and you don't want to be friends with them on social media because like you just don't, <laughs> whatever your reasons are, it's okay. It's okay to leave them like in, in the queue, not friended. It's okay. It's okay for you to want to be able to so scroll social media with positive people, with things that you like and work people might not be part of that. And it is okay. Tip number three, are you fake resting? I know you're probably like, what is fake resting? Well, you know what it is because we all do it. And this is something that I actually have a really hard time with. You know what fake resting is. You're you're watching Netflix or you're watching TV and you're still scrolling on your phone, checking email, checking social media. You're not really resting like your mind is still going. Your mind is still thinking about other things about, oh, how do I respond to that parent? How do I respond to that student? How do I respond to that teacher? you're not really resting. And trust me, I am preaching in the choir here. This is very difficult for me to do, but I want you to really try to like actually rest. If you're watching TV, 
if that's like what you do at night, then put your phone away from you, like away further than an arm's reach. So you can't just like mindlessly pick it up and mindlessly start scrolling social media because that's not resting. Find whatever it is for you that's actually rest. For me, it's exercising. And I know that you're like, that's like physically exhausting. I know, but it's like my only way where I'm not connected to my phone. You know, when I'm, when I'm being, when I'm exercising, where it's taking a walk, doing like a YouTube video class, um, I'm not on my phone. And that's like really important to me. So whether you're like a knitter, you know, you knit things or a crocheter or a person who does yoga or just someone who wants to take a nap, do that, but do that fully, like be fully invested in the moment. And my last tip is Are you spending so many hours trying to look for resources to teach your class? I just wanted to throw in this bonus little tip, this bonus um, gift for you, because if you are, life is already hard. You're busy teaching. You might be parenting your own children. You have a home to clean. You have to cook. You got to do all these things. I don't want you to have to spend extra time on top of all of that looking for digital resources. So if you need some extra digital resources for your math class, click the link below this video and grab my free bundle of digital resources to help you with activities to do tomorrow. So you don't have to waste any time today looking for things to do. Again, my name is Kathy Martin. Don't forget to grab the link below to grab your free digital bundle to help you um, to prevent teacher burnout. I hope that this video has been helpful for you and I'll see you next time. Bye.